the number one, the number one most overrated player in NFL history. Come on. Okay, guys, and welcome back to another episode of The Final Quarter, episode nine. We have a damn good episode for you. It's going to get a little heated. We're going to be going over some NFL. UFO recap is coming to an end. And to be going over the NBA playoffs right now, if you guys didn't know, every time we record on Wednesdays mornings, we are also live on TikTok shooting a behind the scenes. All right. So just remember that you guys can ask us questions on TikTok. We will address it live in the podcast. Yes, we will. So let's just get straight into it. Let's talk about the NBA. And it's been a wild, wild, wild couple of weeks. For the NBA, the Knicks, the love story's over. Oh, no. Let me show you my shock face. The love story is over. Um, the Knicks were eliminated. They, re, history repeats itself. Reggie Miller and now Tyrese Halliburton for the Pacers. Um, and the Knicks' is playoff Cinderella run. But um, they have futures bright over there in New York. Future is bright with Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo. Looks good. What's his name? Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo. And, uh, and, well, we had one game yesterday, the um, the Celtics and the Pacers' first game. It was a crazy high-scoring game. And these are probably the two best teams left besides the Timberwolves. Um, so, yesterday, Tatum. Tatum does Tatum things. 36-12. and 12, Fantastic job. Jalen Brown, 26 points. And Drew Holiday making a career <laughs> – Making a vintage moment happen again. 28, 8, and 7. Shout out Drew Holiday. He killed it yesterday. Pascal Siakam, my old Raptors boy, played over there for Indiana. Pascal Siakam, that was my boy. Dropped 24 and 12. And Tyrese Halliburton, the Pacers' young star, 25 and 10. Nice. Great game. Celtics come out on top. They lead the series 1 0. And then today, the Mavs and the Wolves play Luka Doncic versus Anthony Edwards. Going to be a great game. So, Kenny, give us the UFO recap. Come on over, baby. Come on over. Here is your rankings for the UFO. Actually, do we need to do the rankings? Because now we're in We're in the championship. We need, we're right there. We're not the championship. We're but we're, we're... Four, four teams are out. Four teams are in. Well, four teams are out, four teams in. So let's just give you what's going to happen this yep. weekend. We have a good one. So on June 8th and June 9th, we have playoffs against the Stallions and the Panthers. That's on June 8th mm-hmm. on, on uh, at 3 o'clock on, on ABC. Sunday on Fox, June 9th at 7 o'clock, we got the Battle Hawks against the Stallions. I mean that's how that's it right there. Brahmas. The Brahmas. That that sets the tone for the UFL championship, the first ever UFL championship. And you know what? I'm picking first of all, I'm going with the Salonies. Can they run the table? Can they run it? I they don't have the dolphin dolphins on the side of the uniform, uh, on the side of the head of the helmet. Yep. I'm going with the stallions. Uh giddy up, giddy up. And yep. uh, they run the table, they finish it strong. They finish it strong, but they're going to go up against the Battle Hawks. Yep. And Stallions are taking it all the way. So this is going to be a good championship game. I wish I could say, uh, you know, Matt's goal is being Lambeau Field in the first quarter of the season, uh, what quarter of the games. I wish Matt and I were here uh, for this championship game for the UFL because what a hell of a season. What yeah. a hell of a season. Yep. I mean, what a year difference it makes. It's almost like the 2000, I forget, Donovan, put it up there. The 2014 Panthers, they went yeah. three and seven, three and 13. Then following the end, it went three, 13 and three. Yeah. The NFL was okay last year, but the, with the merger and everything, wow. Yeah. Difference. We got some good quality teams, good quality yep. teams this year, and it helped. Help uh, get us to summertime. Help us, yep. get, and help us going to bring it to the the uh, NFL. So, yep. 
the Stallions, Battle Hawks, but leave your comments who you think is going to be in the, uh, the championship round, championship game. But well, I think I'm in agreement. I think Matt agrees with me that we're going to, it's going to be the Stallions and the Battle Hawks. Yep. The Stallions are going to be wolfing up the, not the Bombardi Trophy. That's different, but they're going to be <laughs> the UFL Trophy. The UFL Trophy. So the, uh, we're trying to we're trying to get our boy Teton back on here because he yeah. is playing for the Battle Hawks. He yeah. has a huge game coming up. Yes, and huge games against the uh, the Panthers. Yeah, last year the Brahmas. Last year he Brahmas. played. Uh, uh, last year he won the championship for the Renegades. So Teton and, can go back to back. Matt, can you tell me uh, what's the Renegades record? What, they, they got one game. They got one game. They got one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. That's what happens if you mess with our boy Teton. Don't trade our boy like that. That's what happens. Teton, if you're watching, come back on. We're love to have you back on. We're ready yeah. for you. Moving into it's coming up. We've got about a hundred days left. And don't and don't worry, Teton. I got a spot for you. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> we got about a hundred days left before the NFL kicks off. Oh. Show some. I'll show some off-season pictures. Uh, put them on screen here, Donovan. Put them on screen. But uh, Joe right. Burrow, Joe Burrow looks like the Sith Lord now with the long hair. Just looks oh terrifying out there. And uh, Patty Mahomes, he's got to cut some weight. Ooh, that, ooh, boy, ooh. that boy's looking a little big. Listen, listen, folks. Donovan, throw the picture up there. But take go from neck down, neck down, <laughs> neck down. Look at that, folks. I didn't know if that was Matt or a Pat. I was like, yeah. Matt did tell me he's going to go to NFL. <laughs> he only needs Travis Kelsey. He's throwing 50 touchdowns. That's all he needs. Yeah. I was like, damn, what you doing out there, man? Yeah, Matt, that's, that's what's called that's what's called dad weight. He had a, he's had he has two kids now. Mm -hmm. and put on some dad weight. Actually, Don, from show the real picture of a Matt in a jersey. <laughs> there it is. Number two. Look at him. Look oh, at him. shoot. Shoot. Yeah, they don't know I tried out for the Seahawks last week. So the most exciting teams to watch though, obviously, uh we got we got one viewer question right here. We'll answer real quick. What are y'all's thought on investing in Burrow? Oh man. As far as uh a player or as far as sports cards, as far as sports cards go, invest them as much as if you can get it for a good price, yes. Get it. Get it. If you can get it for a good price, get it for sure. And as uh, a, yeah. Yes, absolutely, man. Yes, he had a bumpy road his his junior year. I don't think I think they only do a freshman. They don't do a rookie sophomore year, but he had a bumpy road. He's got the injuries out of the way. Yep. He'll be good this year. Healthy Bengals, Chase Young. I mean, yeah. Not Chase Young, sorry. Um uh, uh but Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase. Jamar yep. Chase. Uh we don't know about T. Higgins. He wants to trade. He wants to trade, but it's going to be – the Bengals are in a good spot. They're going to be in playoff contention. Um, I don't know what I said in my protection word for that division, but, man, that's going to be a good division. Steelers, yeah. Browns. Oh, uh, no, Burrow. Burrow's got the long hair. He's got the long hair growing out. He's on a revenge tour right now. He's he's joined the dark side, that's for sure. He's joined his inner, inner Aaron Rodgers. What? He's doing his inner rock, his inner yeah, rock, inner yep, rock. yep. But most exciting teams to watch this year. I mean, uh, the the uh, the uh, the Bengals are definitely one of them. Uh, I think Joe Burrow is going to have a season and a half. Um, Actually, let's show let's show a comparison picture. Jonathan, show those two pictures about Joe Burrow with the long hair and Aaron Rodgers. They look like they're out there <laughs> on air. <laughs> show those pictures up there, Donovan. The uh, actually, to be honest, with you, the entire AFC South. Is a uh, super super exciting. You got Jacksonville Jaguars and Sunshine prove himself over there. Uh, we got the Titans with Will Levis having a surprising first year with DeAndre Hopkins. He did amazing. Anthony Richardson, you just added a healthy Michael Pittman. Jonathan Taylor signed a huge deal. That's going to be huge. And then um, you have the Giants adding uh, Malik Neighbors. You got the Lions just getting better. And then you have Green Bay getting younger. We have yeah the, the Ravens. Nice, got their nice thing about the Green Bay. I think they're I think they're right there. And I think I, I think what's well, the average age is twenty five. So that's that's 
Yeah. yeah. It's a hell of a team. Yeah, the the youngest team to ever make the playoffs. And then you have uh, the Falcons are probably my favorite team to watch this year. I think the Falcons are going to do crazy with uh, Kyle Pitts, Drake London, Kirk Cousins, B. John Robinson. That's going to be a nasty, nasty team. You hear that, Joey? Yeah. You hear that, Joey? Obviously, deep down, I'm excited to watch the Packers. We'll touch on the Packers in a little bit. But well, I'm excited about the watch because I think it's going to be – you hate them. I know everybody hates them, but – yeah. Sticking with them. So what do you want to do first? Do you want to do some viewer hot takes or do you want to do some most overrated players in NFL history? Let me let me get some viewer hot takes because you know all right. So nah. the new the new segment on our podcast is viewer hot takes. You guys comment or email us your hot takes for the 2024 season. We go over it, we give our opinion, and we got five crazy ones. We got five outlandish hot takes. You ready? I'm ready. All right. First things first, it comes from Nick. What up, Nick? Nick says this is going to be the first time the Steelers miss the playoffs with Mike Tomlin. No, I don't, I don't believe that. I mean, Mike Tomlin. <laughs> ever since, uh, Nick, you know, I take it back. I take back I take back my what's up. Uh, ever since Tomlin took over the Steelers head coaching job back in – He's been there 14, 15 years. So, but you got a quarterback carousel going on. Who's starting? But Who's starting? Look at this, look at the quarterback situation last year. Yeah, yeah. Can he pick it to pick it? Yeah, well, it was okay, but he did it. He hasn't had a losing record since taking over, and he's you yeah. Know, so, I think they, I think he's gonna get good work out of Russ, <laughs> and he has a he has a, a talent. I think he's gonna unlock uh, Fields. Yeah. He's gonna be, they're gonna be, they, they got younger at quarterback. Yep, veteran at quarterback for a vet minimum. So I think everything's gonna be all right. So the next one, and we'll just get this out of the way. This comes from Mike. Um, I'm gonna say what Mike up. said that. Uh, huh? Then I'm not gonna say what's up to Mike. Till I hear your question. So Mike says, um, this is gonna be the first time in four years that the uh, Chiefs miss the playoffs. See, this is this is some outlandish. You know what? So now, now. Now, now, let's respect Mike because you have the Texans, you have the Jags, you have the Titans, the uh, Dolphins, the Colts, the Ravens, the Bengals. You have a ton of teams. And can the Chiefs, can the Chiefs hold them? They got a receiver in the draft. They didn't get any defense. They got a receiver. You know, Mike, I know you're, I know you're, you're both your names start with an M. You trying, trying to butt up on Matt right now, but I need you to calm down. Okay. Back to Chiefs. Respect Andy Reid. Respect what they do over there. They're back to back champions, and they could be on the verge of being do a three peat, which that be that's not so, happening. That's not happening. Hold, hold on now. Let me let me get some airtime. Let me, let me let me talk now. So now, um, they, we can't just disrespect the Super Bowl team like that. So they're going to miss the playoffs. No. So. <laughs> Uh, the Chiefs are still the Chiefs. Kenny, you have to you have to understand I that know. was an awful Niners team they played. Oh, that was a horrible that's Niners. An awful, team. it's an awful Niners team that made it to the, all the way to the Super Bowl. Myself, myself, you know it. You just don't want to admit it. Myself yeah. and TikTok knows if the Lions beat the Niners, the Chiefs would have lost. No, the Chiefs were not holding the the Lions. The Chiefs were going to hold the teams. Were, teams were going to hold any team that was going to play them. That, that wrong. No, wrong. that's fact. That's wrong. Fact. It would have been a good felt story to see Eminem and Taylor. I mean, sorry, the, the Lions and the Chiefs. <laughs> that would have been a good heartfelt story. That would have been amazing. That they would have won the season already. That that right there, they already won their mini Super Bowl, their own Super Bowl. They made it there. So that that's winning it right there. All right. So Mike, you know, stop stop kissing up the map. So we're over two right now. We can't agree with either of them. So next next question. All right. Next question comes from. Next question comes from Craig. Hey, Craig, my my ball little friend. <laughs> Craig says, "Lions get first rounded." Everyone knows they're good now. Everybody, yeah, everyone knows they're good now. And like Coach uh, Campbell said, he's like, "Hey boys, that was our first and only last. That was our first, our only chance to make the Super Bowl." And that's like, a tough division too. I mean, JJ McCarthy hasn't proven himself yet, but J, J. 
Justin Jefferson's going to be great with any quarterback. It's going to be great. Let's, just, let's, let's cut the bullshit right now. It's going to be between the Packers and Lions. So we don't know what we don't know what Caleb Williams is going to do with stupid ass bear claw sign, right? We don't know yeah. what he's going to do. And the Vikings still they, they have like I said a rookie. There's two rookie quarterbacks. You got two veteran quarterbacks. So let's just let's just cut it out now. Yeah. The division is going to go through the Lions and Packers this year. I'm saying it right now, going on record. Okay. Well, it's funny you said that. <laughs> uh, Donovan just handed me uh, Dan and Jawan. Dan predicted the AFC championship game and Jawan predicted the NFC championship game. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, Jawan says that it's going to be between the Bears and Packers in the NFC championship. And then Dan, yeah, says, this is wild, but it's possible. Dan says the AFC championship is the Texans versus the Chargers. I'll tell you right now, if that happens, no one's watching that Packers game. Everyone's every, everyone's watching that. Everyone's watching the Chargers, and uh, <laughs> that's because the Packers, the Packers, and the Bears. That's an appetizer. We're going to the yeah. main course. The the time. Donovan, throw up that throw up that photo of uh of Jordan Love uh walking a a, a bear on a leash. Mm -hmm. Throw up that photo. Could you imagine a Texans and Chargers AFC Championship game? I'm like, I mean, man, the the if the if the Bears and Packers are one, that's an appetizer. That's an appetizer <laughs> for the main course. Everybody's gonna be watching the Texans and Chargers. Yeah. Uh, who who asked this question? I'm sorry, what was the name? That was Dan. Dan. I mean, everybody knows I love Herbert, but there's a lot of question marks at receivers. I mean, they lost Keaton Allen, and I forget the other receiver they lost, but they lost. It was that was the main target right there. So right now he's throwing to Quentin Johnson. We don't know where he was last year. Is he going to yeah. this year? And then yep. he had the receiver in, in the second round. But um, they can get some other goal with the receiving core they have there. And Quentin Johnson can play like yeah. a, a first round drafted receiver. Then mm -hmm. maybe. But I, I think it's it's a little far fetched to say the Texans, I mean, the, the Chargers and Texans. Are playing the, the final the the champion. It's possible, it is possible. Anything's possible, but I what I do I, do I think they go that far? No, but it, would they make it to the playoffs? Yes, I could see that. Yep. But uh, either way, that was this week's viewer questions. If you guys have any questions, always leave a comment, email, everything like that. Moving on to the most heated topic of today is this is going to divide the room. Divide the room. Top five most overrated players of all time. Okay. Now we'll we'll just go back and forth. Your five, my five. All right. So who is your number five? Number five. I'm about to show you right now. My number five. I'm going. I'm doing. I didn't do. I have my. I have quarterbacks in mind, but I'm doing quarterbacks. So I'm going to show you my top five quarterbacks. So. This is going. I'm going with in my division. Jalen Hurts. Oh, okay. Jalen Hurts. Right. So listen, right. I'm saying that because before, before they got AJ Brown, Jalen Hurts wasn't put up numbers. I can respect that. My number five will just get it out of the way. Yeah. Is a uh, Stephon Diggs. I don't want to look in the camera when I say that. Stephon Diggs is out outrageously overrated he is one of the most overrated receivers of all time just ridiculous he has josh allen he had and he still wasn't really he was decent wasn't anything crazy people are sucking him off left and right he went to houston they're like oh my god cj stroud's gonna be mvp but nico collins and tank dell are there and they put up numbers last year Right now, Stephon Diggs should maybe be wide receiver two at most. I am staying in the same division. I'm going with Dak Prescott. Oh! Yes. Now, people, hey, viewers, TikTok, YouTube, viewers, everybody that watches our platform, I'm not doing this because I'm a Giants fan. I'm doing this because, man, like Matt said, you guys are fucking them off for no reason. Yep. America's team? America's team? 
my number four. The only reason I'm saying this man is overrated is because you guys are comparing him to the greatest of all time. So it's your guys' fault. It's it's <laughs> actually not your guys'. It's Chris Collinsworth's fault. Uh, His fault. My number four is Patrick Mahomes. Oh you my can't, god! You cannot oh compare. Oh my god! You cannot compare Patrick Mahomes to Tom Brady. You can't yes. do that. Oh my! You god. cannot do that. Patrick oh. Mahomes is not even 10 of all time. You guys are ruining his – it's a whole – it's a, it's the whole other – this is the reason people hated Steph Curry because you guys are talking his head up so much. So that is my number four. Who is your number three? Oh, my God. You. It's, it's his fault. It's Chris Collinsworth's fault. Chris Collinsworth, if you want to come on here, Donovan, blacklist him. Blacklist him? Number Back, three. three. I'm going with – Sunshine, mm-hmm. Saint Law, as everybody calls him. Yep. People are again sucking him off for no reason. Yep. He he went up to he went to a play. He brought the Jaguars to a playoff game. Donovan, how many interceptions did he throw in that game against Chargers? <laughs> Four, and he won the game because the Chargers gave up. Yep. And then when they went into the next playoff game, who did they play, Donovan? Oh yeah, they got the ass whooped. Jay Law is not that good of a quarterback. Again, they're shitting on Daniel, but those two have the same exact numbers. Yep. In 2023, same exact numbers. All right. So my number three, I'm going to use your explanation because I think it was perfect, is Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts is ridiculously overrated. Um, He really should be worried for his job right now. Tanner McKee's back there. He's warming up. He's ready to go. He really should be worried for his job because he is not that good. Number two, I am sorry, Rich, but he doesn't play for the Ravens anymore. He plays for the Saints. David Carr. David Derek Carr. Overrated. How many playoff games has he won? I'll wait. Yeah. He had one good year. He had one good year. One good year. And people are saying he's great, great. His brother was great. He was okay. Yeah. Man, he was on a terrible Texas team. And he willed that team to wins. Yeah. Will, that boy was battered and bruised everywhere. Yeah. That's he, true. Everybody thinks he's so great, but man, he has he put that's a, true. He had good seasons. We had a good, good couple seasons with the Raiders. But man. So I'm just gonna let it out. Number okay. two. The fridge Perry. Who? William Perry. William the Fridge Perry. Oh, you're doing it all time. Yeah. You talking about Big Fridge? Talking about Big Fridge. What is this man doing? Talking about Big Fridge. I'm talking about to the man above. You say some outlandish shit for number one. I'm cutting this camera off. I'm talking about Big Fridge. I'm talking about the same guy that played what eleven seasons, nine seasons. Yeah, and has five fumbles. The same guy that plays eleven season that has twenty nine sacks. 29 sacks. Mm-hmm. You're talking about KT. Well, he just, he did almost half of that in one year. Yep. Yep. What are we talking about? And we're saying that this guy is the greatest in his position on the one yard line. Give him the ball. Of course. He's 400 fucking pounds. Of okay. course you give him the ball. That's a big boy. What That's the fuck? Like, we're making a whole show out of this. Oh, man. Give me the ball at the one-yard line. Hey, hey, hey. Give me the ball. Hey, hey, I know you got a clean cut. I know you got Oh, a my cut. Lord. Calm down. I know. I know. Give I'm... me the ball. This is what we're talking about, the fridge? Oh, man. I know you got some. He's super... the weight of the fridge, and that's why he he runs, he runs one yard. That's all he does. Runs one yard. Man. Go oh. ahead. Who's your number one? My number one is really going to divide the room. Uh, well. It's a toss up. Um, I love the guy. I love the guy. Man, man, I wish we could do 10. Um, let's just be honest. Let's just be honest. I love the guy, love his energy. Uh, Kirko. Oh, let's be honest. At number one, listen, the man's stealing money from the NFL. Okay. <laughs> the man is stealing money. 
he has great numbers in the regular season, but he can't get over the hump. He doesn't. No, he can't. Again, they can't. This might be the year. He has the most. He has the same playoff wins like Daniel Jones. This might be the year. Of Dan, it, it might be. I mean, hey, you know, you went from the Vikings to the Falcons. You got Drake, yeah. You got Drake London over there. You got Drake London on the track. He got uh, yep. uh, uh, Kyle Pitts. Yep. Trey Robinson got got off of the line. Defense looks good. So yeah, this might be the they might it could be the year. It could be the year. But we need to see Kirko in the playoffs, and we need to see Kirko win playoff games. Yep. I mean, so again, I get nothing. There's no disrespect. So I apologize, Kurt, but I love you. I love you. Yep. You're always welcome on the show. Oh. So if I didn't divide the room with my fridge comment, this is definitely going to divide the room. Some people say he's the greatest of all time in his position. Mm-hmm. Let's just get it out of the way. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, man. How long has the friendship? number one? How the number has, one. How long has our friendship been going? <laughs> About over oh, four years. The number one, the number one most overrated player in NFL come history. Come on. It's not that he is a bad player in other things, but it, he shouldn't have played NFL. I just get it out. Most overrated player in NFL history, Bo Jackson. The most overrated player of all time is Bo Jackson. He played four years, Kenny. Never beat a thousand yards. Donovan, put on screen all of the NF, all the no names that I can name that Kenny doesn't even know that ran over a thousand yards last year. Put him on screen. He's never ran over a thousand yards. Never. Let me let me explain. Let me explain. Can I tell you something? Can I tell you something first? He has he has a total of 16 career touchdowns. His entire career, 16 touchdowns. Right? Yeah, yeah. And he fumb- he has 11 fumbles, Kenny. So what are you telling me? How is he in the top 10 of all time? Man. Bo Jackson, the most overrated of all time. No qu- he was amazing at baseball. Fantastic. One of the best bodies the NFL has ever seen. One of the best athletes we've ever seen. But he just was not made for the sport. Wasn't made for it. So, uh, Bo Jackson, Raiders fans, sorry I had to do it to you, but it's done. Man. Well, let's be honest here. That boy had speed. Before that, that the hip injury when he got tackled, that pulled his man, leg out. I swear to God. That boy had speed. That boy was good. That boy was breaking tackles. I swear to the Lord. Man, this guy was in the rookie of the year voting, Kenny. His rookie year, he had four touchdowns and 551 yards. And that was rookie of the year. Me at 220 could do that. Hey, hey, hey. It's going to take you more than one. It's going to take you a couple of seasons to get 500 yards. Man, I swear. Oh, my God. You, these people game, me you, you're not getting 500 yards. You tell me. You tell me right now. And your shape right now. Yeah. Today's defense. I said me at 220. Me at 220. What are you at now? I'm about 60 pounds heavier than that. So <laughs> get, I mean, lose 60. We put you on the goal hey, line. What's going on, MJ? We're going, we're going, we'll put you on the fridge, Junior. That's what we're doing. I'm <laughs> telling you right now. I'm taking, okay, okay. so you, I'm taking, let's say I'm you, taking last year, I'm taking cheese fill Eddie Lacey over Bo Jackson. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Well, I'm hey, taking hey, cheese filled hey. last year, Eddie Lacy over Bo Jackson. Okay. He's cheese filled Eddie Lacy. Eddie Lacy's last year with Green Bay. I'm taking him over Bo Jackson. No, you're not. There's no prime Bo Jackson. What you is don't... prime Bo Jackson? Hey, it's 950 hey. yard season. Let me get some of this. Let me get some of the screen time. You tell this us, is you ridiculous. Taking, taking full back Eddie Lacy over over prime Bo Jackson. What is prime Bo Jackson? I mean that boy was prime the whole prime time. Bo ja- prime Bo Jackson is the Packers third running back. Oh, the disrespect coming out your mouth. Right? I'm not dis I'm just being honest. Prime okay. Bo Jackson never existed. It, it existed in the MLB and that's where it lived. But you telling me you taking Eddie Lacy, full back Eddie Lacy over Bo Jackson. Seven days a week. Seven days a week. All right. So now, okay. Let's go. <laughs> Let's say let's say this. You're 220. Yeah. 
what's his total? Uh, what's his what was his rookie season? Four hundred eighty-five yards or something like that. Five fifty-four, yeah. Five fifty-four for four touchdowns. Yep. Okay, five fifty-four. Five fifty-four. So I need you to give. So I can you can you get five sixty and five touchdowns, two twenty. Which offensive line are you doing that with? The Panthers. <laughs> I'll take Kenny. You're telling me 554 yards, and we're saying he's the top 10 running back of all time. This is outrageous. So you said okay, outrageous. You're not saying you're not saying today, Matt. Matt you're not saying today, Matt. But you're saying 60 pound lighter, Matt would have done that. So if you put me at 220 at 23 years old, I'm doing it. Behind the Panthers, I'm doing it. Did you not see what they did to Bo- the young last year? I'm, do- I'm doing it. I did not block anything. They could have kept. I'll it. do it again. I'll do it against any line in front of me. Any, any line. Any line in front of me. His career receiving yards, Kenny. I know he's a running back. All right, I know he's a running back. You can do screen passes. Sa- Saquon does screen pass as well. Yep. You know all about it. His career receiving yards is 352. I can do that in four games. Oh my God. <laughs> I can do that in four games. Is it, is it 220, Matt? Is it 220, Matt? I can do that in four games. MJ, MJ says I'm right. MJ is, MJ is on my side. M- MJ, M- MJ, I need you to calm down. I know, you, I know you can't see him, but you can hear me. I need you to stop. I'm saying Bo Jackson is the most overrated of all time. That's okay. all I'm saying. Okay. That's all I'm saying. But not for baseball. He's one of the greatest to ever do it to swing a bat. I'll tell you that. Bo Jackson's incredible. And better than Michael Jordan. <laughs> MJ says he's not lying. <laughs> um, MJ's not lying. MJ's on my side. But that's it for this episode, guys. Kenny, you got anything else? I mean, I, you know, I hate to do it, but hey, like, subscribe, get more viewership, helps us get mm-hmm. to the number, you know, get us more views. I yep. love you guys, and God bless. Comment, guys, below so you can get on this page that Donovan hands me every week. You can get on this page with your hot takes. We'll talk about it in the podcast. Donovan, play my team. Go on, get.